So this all started one fateful day last summer. Your girl was an idiot. I knocked my DS on the floor and the hinge broke. Oh, Lucy, that's not a big deal. You can just buy another one. They're real cheap. No, uh uh. This wasn't an ordinary DS. It's what you would call a capture card. A capture card DS has a special modified port that lets you plug in a USB and have a stream of the DS footage go directly through to the computer. They're really convenient for making videos and are pretty much the only way to record GBA games in good quality. And because it's an unofficial thing, I had to send my DS off to America to get it modified like this. It's not cheap. And by the time this happened, they'd stop making them, so I couldn't just send it back. I was like, what am I gonna do? <sighs> Breathe. So, it was just a hinge. The actual DS and the capture card part of it works fine, so all I really need is a new case. I have repaired the odd thing in the past, but this time I didn't trust myself to repair it on my own without breaking it, so I made the decision to look for a repair shop to do it for me. I kinda wish I hadn't. I looked online and ended up choosing a repair shop about an hour away from where I live. They offered DS repairs on their website, so I thought it would be fine. All I needed was a replacement case. DS's were crazy popular back in the day, and broken hinges are probably one of the most common problems that you get with them, so it shouldn't have been that big of a deal. It was a pokey little shop on a quiet street. There was a guy probably around my age in the front, and a man in the back who I am assuming ran the business. Now at this point, it's worth mentioning that the broken hinge DS wasn't the only thing that I brought in. I had three broken capture cards. The other two weren't my fault. I swear I'm just super unlucky with electronics sometimes. I had a backup original DS capture card with a row of dead pixels on the screen. Everything else worked fine, but dead pixels can spread, so I wanted to get it fixed. And a 3DS XL one that I got from a pretty shady Japanese company. The capture card part of it broke within two weeks of it arriving, and it had just been collecting dust ever since, so I figured I'd bring it with me too. After a while, the man came out and said that he could fix all three of my consoles. Happy days! He said that the 3DS and the DS with the dead pixels could be fixed that same day! Woo! So me and my dad went out for lunch and came back later to pick up the consoles. I couldn't test the 3DS until I got home, but I did take a quick look at the DS to check if the dead pixels were gone. All he had to do was replace the LCD screen. And yeah, he definitely did that. But it gave me a completely new problem. The screen was flickering. That's even worse! I sure love me some headaches! So I went and showed him. He seemed really surprised. He put in about nine different replacement screens and all of them flickered. At this point I was tired and I just decided to give up and take back the original screen with the row of dead pixels. As for the original DS with the broken hinge, he told me that he specifically needed to order in a new case for it. Which is fair enough, but it would take a week to arrive and cost more than he'd originally told me because apparently replacement cases were really hard to find. This was yet another red flag for a couple of reasons, because even though I'd probably never trust myself to fix a DS, I'm not stupid, mostly. I've done more than enough eBay searches to know that people will sell broken consoles on there frequently for spares and repairs, and they were several times cheaper than the case that he wanted to order in. I suggested this to him, and he insisted that there was nothing like that online, and he could only order in the super expensive one. I didn't want confrontation, so I backed down and left the DS at the shop. On the way out, I noticed that on my other DS there were a bunch of scratch marks that definitely weren't there before. So either he scratched it up while trying to fix it, or he could have switched out my screen with an old scuffed up one he had in the back. Either way, alarm bells were ringing loud and clear. Oh, and I went home and tested the 3DS that he said he fixed. It didn't work. So I was told that the repair would take about a week or two, but over the next two months, I called them up several times and kept getting fobbed off with excuses like, Oh, the case still hasn't arrived yet. Oh, he's gone on holiday. Oh, he's gonna do it tomorrow. Mm. So by the time they finally said my DS was ready to pick up, I was still pretty skeptical. So I get to the shop, and the DS is there waiting for me, recased in the cheapest, bootleggiest pink shell you can imagine. This was the special shell that took forever to arrive. Really? It was bad, but at the end of the day I didn't really care what it looked like, just as long as the capture card part of it still worked. I'd actually brought along my laptop so that I could test it out while I was still in the shop. That's how much I didn't trust them. So I plugged it in, started up the software, and it came up fine. <sighs> and then I unplugged it. The whole screen went pink! What did you do? You were only meant to change the case! Hmm. 
hmm, yeah, I don't know why that's happening. I also know that he switched the screen protector on this one as well because it had a peely sticker on it. I never asked you to do that! But again, I was a total pushover. I decided to just pay for the repair, cut my losses and get out of there. That day I learned that a lot of the time, if you want something done right, you do it yourself. I'm sure that even a noob like me probably could have recased it with my own resources and with the help of a few YouTube tutorials. Also, after all this happened, the dead pixels on DS number 2 actually started to disappear, and now they're almost all gone. I didn't even know that could happen. What an interesting first animation on this channel, huh? I've been wanting to talk about this since it happened, but never really found the right opportunity. After the last animation on my main channel, there was this massive surge of interest on here, so I just want to thank all of you who have come to check out what I'm doing here. I really appreciate you sticking around and I hope you enjoy this new style of content. Also, I'm gonna be at somewhere in the city this year. And yes, I'm probably gonna be saying that in every video until it happens. Okay, bye. All right, so here's some proof if you guys don't believe me. Yeah, it's, it's all right now, but... <gasps>